guys, nobody has anything like this on the market. The versatility of this module is going to change the way that you decide to cool your engine on the road or on the track. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this one. What's up guys, Frank Mancaluso here from Garageaholic. Today we're going to be taking a look at the cooling on the E30 N54, and more specifically the cooling as how it pertains to maintaining control of a fan, and not just any fan, but a SPAL fan, or any DC motor fan. And that's really the key of what we're trying to do here. I'm working with Wheeland Consulting, and there's a buddy of mine, this guy knows his stuff. He is a uh, firmware engineer, so you know he basically designs planes and makes them fly. So cars is nothing to him. But what we're gonna be doing today is exploring the option of using PT CAN to actually control a DC fan through PWM. If that wasn't enough acronyms for you, I don't know what is. Guys, stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this one. Okay guys, so what you're looking at here is you're looking at a standard 12 volt DC fan. We're gonna be using the uh, SPAL. Um, this is a uh, straight fan, 14 inch, and we're gonna be putting it into the E30 uh, behind the, uh, the aluminum radiator, and it is going to be the sole source for cooling the engine. Now, N54s typically like to run hot, and this module here is not going to be N54 specific, which is what's so great about it, is its versatility. This module here, and don't worry about this one, this is just a simulating Arduino, but this module here is going to be packaged in such a way that it can take PT CAN data from your DME, it's going to interpret that, throw out, throw out a PWM, a pulse width modulated signal out to the fan. So now the fan that normally works under like a DC, you know, direct uh, current power from a battery or a relay is actually going to be acting as a smart fan in a way and conserving energy to keep the engine cool at the exact temperature it needs to as opposed to a temperature sensor turning a relay or a switch on and off and having this fan turn on and off high low high low it's actually going to be spinning it at almost infinite uh, speeds in order to cool the engine to the exact temperature that it needs to be cooled at. So with me is Ralph Whelan from Whelan Consulting, again, a good friend of mine, and we're partnering up on this, and we're gonna be using the E30M54 behind me to really use this as a test bed for, uh, for anybody who wants to be able to more efficiently cool their engine through a pulse width modulated signal. So this is Ralph, he's got really the technicals, he knows exactly what's going on, how he actually designed this module, um, and, uh, and uh, I'm gonna go through with him and try to understand and ask some stupid questions as, as to really how this thing works. All right guys, so here's how the module works at a real high level, okay? This is the module that we're designing currently, all right? You basically take your 12 volt ignition source from your car, right? It's a switched ignition, uh, basically powering a relay that then provides power to the module. The module operates on 12 volt DC power. On the N54 or the MSD8081, um, Typically, you'd have pin eight uh, send a 100 hertz signal to, uh, to the actual PWM fan. Um, here, this is not needed because this is, that, this is basically a result or an artifact of the internal uh, calculations of the actual DME itself. We don't need this anymore. We have PT CAN, and that's exactly what we're, we're gonna be uh, using on this module. Is, the PT can, that's the red, uh, it's basically a, a red wire and then a, a red wire with a blue stripe. High and low are gonna be wired up directly into the unit. If you don't have PT can, that's okay. You can use a temp sender. The temp sender is basically from, this is an N54 engine, the temp sender is right here. On this engine in particular, what we're going to be doing is we went from a two wire sender to a four wire sender. So where the two wires originally went straight to the DME, now we have two wires going to the DME and two wires are gonna be going uh, straight to the instrument cluster for uh, those purposes. But in an, older, in an older car where you have a temp sender that you wanna install and you wanna have that temp sender drive the speed of your fan, that's what that's for. The output of this module is your spal fan, right? And this spal fan, or any fan, you can go to the junkyard and buy a 12 volt fan, it doesn't matter. It actually acts as a smart fan, which takes, it, it, it takes in a 12 volt PWM signal that has a varying duty cycle, depending on the temperature of the car or the temperature of the sensor. 
that outputs a slow speed or a high speed depending on that engine temperature. Now, uh, I'm gonna let Ralph talk since this is his invention, this is his module, I'm gonna let him talk about the next cool option and other things about this that I haven't really talked about. All right guys, so what's really great about this module is it, it gives you an opportunity to go from just a straight DC fan. And if anyone's ever been to the track with a DC fan, you hear the fan come on full blast and then it turns off and then it turns on full blast again and then it turns off. And this just constantly happens over and over again. A, it's wasteful. B, it's annoying, especially when you're sitting in the pits and your fan's going full bore for no reason. Um, so what we've done is we've, we've taken the TT can and it converts, it, it's the same thing that's going to your DME that generates this signal here. Except we're not going to use this signal, we're going to take the, the temperature ourselves and make a new uh, PWM output for this fan. And there's some circuitry in here that convert the temperature you'd get over can or the temperature you'd get from your temp sender. And it does some magic, I'm going to call it, some proprietary stuff I'm not going to talk to you about. And it's going to put out a PWM signal to your DC fan. This is essentially made this fan infinitely variable speeds. So if, if you have a temp set point, which we do in here, that is perfect for the N54. We are going to run, that's going to be our target, right? So this fan is going to infinitely vary its speed to hit that target. Um, and by doing that, you're not going to waste a bunch of energy, you know, by having this fan run at a max speed when it doesn't need to. So it, it's going to run when it has to, and it's going to not run when it doesn't have to. And that's, that's basically the, the, the point of this module. Now this max cool feature, is not like a juice box feature which just turns your fan on all the time anyway so it's kind of pointless but this one is you can it's going to be an external switch so you can wire it somewhere and say say you know you're going to be doing a lot of track driving or you're uh, aggressive driving you're going to blast through the canyon you know and it's it's 100 degrees out in death valley or wherever the hell you're from <laughs> you can turn this on and what that's going to do is going to lower the internal set point to um maybe what would be 10 degrees under where the, or 10 degrees C under where the- uh, it's, like having, it's like having a low temp thermostat, right? right? Having a low temp yeah. thermostat. That's yeah. basically what it is. It makes things a lot more simple. So it's gonna be a set point that's a little lower than a normal N54 set point, but if it's hot outside and you know you're gonna be doing a lot of driving anyway, it just preemptively wards off the heat soak that is such a problem for this motor. What makes this product so d different and unique that has never been on the market before is this. PT can. It takes the data from the can, the R by D, which we've identified on the PT can, and we know what the packets of data are in hex, convert to decimal, we do some proprietary coding here, and we output a PWM. There is no module on the market today that actually takes PT can and converts it into something that's useful for the common enthusiast. And that's what really makes this special. So yeah, there are a lot of other people out there that take a PWM signal in and it outputs another PWM signal out to a fan and controls the fan that way. But no module takes PT CAN data and outputs a PWM signal to control a fan as efficiently as this one does and will do in the field. So having said all that, I mean, we're gonna end up packaging this thing so it's, it's easily mountable, it's gonna be uh, sealed, so it's gonna be sealed away from the elements. It's going to end up having um, I don't know, what else? <laughs> so, I mean, the other thing you gotta remember too is if you don't have a BMW, that's fine because you can use this with any, with any DC fan. So, you don't have to worry about, hey, you know, I'm driving, um, you know, uh, I got a really sweet, like, 87 Acura Integra. Sure, fine, use this. It can still, it can still work. It doesn't have to be a fancy BMW. Yeah, this is, this is mainly geared toward BMWs because of the R ID associated with the, the temperature of the engine for cooling. But using a temperature sender, you can easily, um, yeah. it, it, it easily can work for any, any application. So what we're gonna be doing here on this module, on this N54, is we're gonna be using this. We're gonna be using the prototype version of this and testing it out on this. So there'll be more videos, more information on that. That way you can see exactly how this thing works. Um, and we can actually, we can actually uh, demonstrate that uh, in, a, in a minute. So let's take a look and see how this thing actually works in application. And we can kind of demonstrate how this fan is actually gonna work. Pretty neat stuff, guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how this module works. It's kind of Frankenstein-ish right now. Um, but the moral of the story here is 
this cable here is acting like your PT can, right? And this is gonna emulate the, what the DME is sending out as a temperature over the PT can. This is the module that receives it and says, hey, we're hot, we need to turn this guy on and drive the fan. So this is how this thing works. So you're changing yes. the value right now in that potentiometer, right? This, this is acting like a temp sensor, or your, your, temp, your can-based temp sensor to the DME. So this is basically changing the CAN data that's being sent on this wire, whether yeah. it's the DME sending it or it's a temp sensor that's yeah. ch that's actually sending a different variable resistor. Yep, okay. so, the, so Got the, it. the temp sensor would be another input into this module that would drive the fan the same way that, that I'm emulating here. Okay, yeah, so this is a prototype, guys. So this is only one set of wires, but in, in I ideal situations, in the production version, we'll have a set of wires that's going, uh, if you use CAN, and another set of wires you can plug into for the resistive uh, temperature sender itself. So that we're just emulating it right now, but we're just demonstrating how this thing works. So right now, you're actually making, you're pretending that the engine's getting hotter, yeah, right? So, so you're, we're, you're, gonna heat, we're gonna heat the engine up, and you'll hear a buzzing noise, and the fan will start spinning. This is a slow speed. So that's a slow speed. And I'm just going to turn this up really slowly so that you guys can hear the, di the difference in speed as the fan ramps up. Sounds like max speed right there. Max speed. So this is max speed and you're probably sucking about what, 10 amps right now? Yeah, about 10. All right, so about 10 amps at max speed and you're basically got about 1200 CFM of, of movement right there, of air movement. <laughs> when your engine cools down, and we say you're over the set point internally in the code, it's going to start, uh, if I can turn the pop the right way. I think you have to screw it in. Yeah, I do. So that'll start cooling down. And this will go, this can walk all the way back down to essentially, you know, zero speed. So you can see that fan is barely turning. And then when your engine's nice and cool and happy, it turns off. Let's see, this is actually pretty cool. Not warm at all, actually. I mean, we only ran it for a couple minutes, but I wouldn't expect it to be hot. It's not like it's overloaded. How does the, uh, how is the power supply switching card doing? No, that's fine. That's I mean, good. It's, yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Really nice. So there's still a lot of work left to do. We gotta test this thing on the car, we have to see how it works on, on the actual vehicle when the engine's getting hot and cool and see how everything tracks. Um, we got some packaging things to work through toward the middle of the year. Um, and uh, and this basically, we're ready to do this. So I'm pretty excited about releasing a product uh, at the end of the year that actually um, has never been done before in the uh, enthusiast market before. So this is really exciting and I'm, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Um, and uh, you know all the details about about what this is gonna be uh, will be coming out as we uh, get this get this car done. All right, as we get closer to this thing, get the engine in and, and start reassembling, that's when everything's really gonna start to come to fruition. It's gonna get really exciting. So again, my name is Frank Macaluso. This is Ralph Wheeland, and I am out of here.